Debbie and Clive. An ordinary suburban couple. Were living a content life in their suburban town. Although they faced occasional hardships. Their marriage remained happy during the initial five years. It was just the two of them. Both passionate individuals with strong personalities. But they had a deep understanding of each other. Trust held great significance for Clive. Stemming from his childhood experiences. He would overhear his parents arguing while pretending to be asleep. Although he didn't fully comprehend the cause of their disagreements. He sensed that trust was at the core of their issues. Occasionally. His father would move out. Causing temporary upheaval. But he always returned after a few days. While his parents remained married. Clive was determined to shield his own future children from such turmoil. Being the oldest of four siblings. Clive cherished his childhood memories. Despite his parents' arguments. He had a happy upbringing and maintained a strong bond with his brothers. As the leader of their mischief. He orchestrated their adventures. He wanted his own children to experience the joy that came with having siblings. After five years of marriage, Debbie expressed her readiness to start expanding their family. They often joked about having a football team. But their primary focus was on providing the best for their children. Debbie wished for at least four kids. While Clive was content with three. They agreed that destiny would provide the final answer in the months to come. To their delight. Debbie became pregnant easily. They joyfully welcomed a beautiful blonde baby girl into their lives. Whom they named Margaret after Clive's mother. Debbie cherished the first year of Margaret's life. And eventually convinced Clive that she was ready for a second child. Debbie, desiring her children to have strong bonds. Had grown up as the middle child on a farm. Finding solace in the rural environment and the company of farm animals. Her older brother, seven years her senior. Had attended boarding school. Leaving their interactions limited to occasional visits. Where he assisted their father with farm work. Her younger sister. Five years her junior. Had always been frail. Causing their mother to devote significant attention to her care. Consequently. Debbie associated her sister with fear. Always mindful of not exposing her to germs due to her weak immune system. This dynamic prevented them from playing together. Further isolating Debbie during her childhood. As a result. Debbie yearned for her own children to experience the joy of shared childhood. Within two years of Margaret's birth. They welcomed their second child, Ben. Ben bore a striking resemblance to his father, and naturally emulated Clive's behavior from a young age. Their bond was undeniably special, prompting some townsfolk to affectionately refer to Ben as Little Clive, which soon became his nickname. The following year, Rose joined the family, with their fair complexions inherited from their mother, Debbie, and their dark, wavy hair. Margaret and Rose closely resembled each other. Despite the four-year age gap, they could have been mistaken for twins based on their baby pictures. Their appearance resembled delicate porcelain dolls. Life was filled with contentment for Clive. With three children, he felt complete and cherished the state of their home and family. Although Debbie had never deceived her husband, there remained an unfulfilled longing in her heart for another child. She yearned to experience that precious phase after childbirth. When the baby is wholly dependent on the mother one last time. Despite engaging in discussions with Clive on numerous occasions. They could never reach a mutual decision. Consequently. Debbie made the choice to respect her husband's wishes. And be content with their three children. However. One morning following their final discussion, Debbie awoke with a familiar sensation in her heart. She felt in her body that she was expecting again. Despite taking precautions to prevent pregnancy, uncertain of her husband's reaction, she knew she had to share her suspicions with him. 
Initially, Clive appeared somewhat distant upon hearing the news. Nevertheless, Debbie reminded him of their agreement to allow destiny to determine the number of children they would have. Since this pregnancy was unplanned, she believed it was meant to be. As the family settled into their new rhythm of life, eagerly anticipating the arrival of their fourth child, doctors confirmed the baby's good health. Several months later, they also discovered that the couple was expecting a boy. Clive grew increasingly excited about the prospect of welcoming another son. Cherishing his special bond with Ben. Little did they anticipate the profound disruption. And turmoil that would unfold with the birth of their fourth child. What was meant to be a joyous and memorable day. For the McClare family turned into a day of devastation. Clive stood eagerly by his wife's side. Eagerly awaiting their son's first breath. The moment Ryan entered the world. Clive's emotions erupted and he stormed out of the delivery room, shouting accusations at Debbie. It was an act that a loving husband would never engage in. Yet Clive's reaction to some extent seemed justifiable. Although baby Ryan was perfectly healthy, he had black skin. This revelation shocked Debbie as well, leaving her bewildered about how such a situation could occur. Clive was the only man she had ever been with, so Ryan was undeniably his son. The question lingered, why did he have black skin? In the months that followed, the town's gossip mill spun out of control. Clive abandoned his family and initiated divorce proceedings. While speculation about Debbie's alleged affair with a black man ran rampant. Despite their assertions that Ryan was indeed Clive's child, nobody seemed willing to believe their story. Clive vowed to provide financial support but made it clear he wanted no involvement. With his supposedly unfaithful wife, he insisted on only maintaining contact with their three older children, disregarding any connection to Ryan. Even though Debbie offered to conduct a DNA test to prove Ryan's paternity, Clive adamantly declared he wanted nothing to do with the baby. Debbie was devastated by the rejection but remained determined to raise her four children to the best of her ability. Three years after the divorce, Clive encountered some medical issues with potential hereditary implications. Doctors recommended testing his children to assess any genetic matches. Seizing the opportunity, Debbie decided to test the DNA of all four children against Clive's, aiming to prove her fidelity. The outcome of the tests unfolded in a way no one could have anticipated. The results confirmed that little Ryan was indeed Clive's biological child. Clyde found himself dumbfounded, needing to apologize to Debbie immediately, and mend the relationship with the child he had unjustly abandoned. However, before he could begin, he sought answers about why Ryan looked the way he did. Returning to his parents' home, he requested DNA samples from them to undergo testing. To his surprise, his parents exchanged a knowing glance and shared a tale he would never have imagined. The man he had grown up believing to be his father was not his biological father at all. Clive's mother had conceived him out of wedlock with a black man. Due to the social taboos of the time, she was forbidden from marrying him even though she loved him deeply. Instead, her family arranged for her to marry a willing man while she was pregnant. When Clive was born with light skin resembling his mother's, they decided to conceal his true origins, never revealing the truth to him. The black gene had remained hidden in Clive's first three children, but resurfaced in Ryan. The undeniable reality of DNA became inescapable. Although the truth finally came to light, Debbie found herself unable to forgive Clive for his unwarranted accusations of infidelity. Their differences remained irreconcilable. Despite Clive's efforts to warm up to little Ryan and build a loving relationship with all four of his children, Mark, a resilient disabled black man, 
lived a solitary life in the bustling city of Detroit, Michigan. He had adopted a girl named Angela years ago, who had been unwanted by everyone. Little did he know that years later, he would uncover a shocking truth about her. Mark's apartment, nestled among the high-rise buildings and busy streets, was meticulously organized to accommodate his physical limitations. Despite the loss of his legs in the war, Mark's indomitable spirit pushed him to challenge himself and live independently. He cooked, cleaned, and handled minor repairs with unwavering determination. Within the calm and orderly confines of his home, Mark found solace and routine. But as the day turned into night, he faced a formidable opponent. That he couldn't conquer with sheer willpower, loneliness. The long, silent nights echoed through his apartment, reminding him of the friends he had lost to time and war. Their faces, captured in photographs adorning his walls, seemed to taunt his isolation. Being a black man with disabilities, Mark faced a dual struggle against prejudice and stereotypes. Society often saw his wheelchair before they saw him as a person. He encountered patronizing attitudes and ignorance. As many failed to see beyond his physical disability, instead of recognizing his own desires, dreams, and aspirations, he was often pitted and reduced to an object. The intertwining tale of Mark and Angela in the vibrant city of Detroit depicted a story of love, resilience, and transcendence. Mark's resilient spirit and Angela's mysterious abilities would forge a bond that defied societal barriers, inspiring others with their extraordinary journey. Mark yearned for companionship, someone who could see beyond his prosthetics and the color of his skin, and truly recognize the person within. Meaningful conversations, shared laughter, and a comforting presence were what he longed for. When the weight of his solitude became too burdensome, despite society's persistent efforts to fit him into stereotypes, Mark clung to the hope that one day he would meet someone who would see his resilience, his big heart and his zest for life. His loneliness was not a result of his disability, but a consequence of a judgmental and uncomprehending society. Mark's life was not a sob story, but a testament to human resilience. A demonstration of the unwavering ability of the human spirit to adapt and persevere even in the face of adversity. He was not a man to be pitted but admired. Embodying strength, determination, and indomitable willpower. His story was far from over. As he had so much more to offer. Patiently awaiting the day when someone would truly understand and appreciate his worth. The mundane aisles of the local Detroit supermarket served as a comforting backdrop to life's ordinary moments for Mark. Each aisle and shelf had its own familiar rhythm and organized chaos, which he found strangely soothing. It was during one of these routine visits that his world would be forever changed. In a distant corner of an aisle, huddled near towering shelves, he noticed a small figure, Angela, surrounded by a group of older children. She trembled with fear as harsh words rained down upon her. Angela, known as the odd girl in the neighborhood, was frequently subjected to unsolicited cruelty. Stories of her mysterious abilities circulated, casting a shadow of fear and mistrust around her. Orphaned and without anyone to protect her, she had become the town's outcast, isolated and misunderstood. Observing from a distance, Mark felt an uncomfortable knot tighten in his chest. He recognized the loneliness and despair reflected in Angela's eyes. It mirrored his own. Having faced similar prejudice and a lack of understanding himself, Mark recognized that Angela had no walls to shield her. Without hesitation, he propelled his wheelchair forward, placing himself between Angela and her tormentors. The children, taken aback by his firm voice and unwavering gaze, retreated, their taunts fading into the background noise of the supermarket. Extending a hand towards Angela, 
Mark silently pledged his support. His heart ached as she looked up at him. Her eyes reflecting a mix of fear and relief. Taking his hand. Angela conveyed her gratitude. And in that moment. An unspoken understanding passed between them. In the subsequent weeks. Mark found himself increasingly drawn to Angela. He visited the dilapidated orphanage where she resided, brought her groceries, and spent time listening to her stories. He became captivated by her strength, resilience, and acceptance of their differences. Instead of seeing her as an oddity, he recognized her as a unique spirit who, like himself, yearned for acceptance. Angela's mysterious abilities didn't frighten Mark. They intrigued him. Though inexplicable. They were an integral part of her identity, a part he was eager to comprehend. Recognizing her potential to not only transform her own life, but also the lives of those around her. Mark took the first steps towards adopting Angela. Despite the arduous paperwork, judgmental looks, and silent disapproval they faced. Mark remained undeterred. He saw in Angela a companion, a daughter, and a beacon of light in his otherwise solitary existence. He firmly believed that together, they could overcome their loneliness and illuminate the darkness. With the light of mutual understanding, although a risk, Mark was no stranger to challenges. As a soldier he had confronted death, and as a disabled black man, he had faced society's prejudices. Now, as a prospective father to a girl feared for her differences, he was prepared to confront a world quick to judge and slow to understand. He was ready to fight not just for himself, but for Angela, for their chance to form a family, for their chance to belong. The initial days of Angela's arrival at Mark's apartment were marked by an eerie silence. The small space that once housed a lonely man had transformed into a sanctuary. For two souls seeking solace and understanding. Angela. Now away from the cold walls of the orphanage. Clung to the shadows. Cautious and observant. Her eyes reflected a world filled with fear and uncertainty. Mark, man accustomed to order and routine. Found himself disoriented. Angela's quiet and almost otherworldly presence threw him off balance. His attempts to connect with her were often met with silence or apprehensive glances. Angela resembled a skittish animal, anticipating harm at the slightest sound. It was evident that she carried scars not only from society's ridicule, but also from the abandonment and neglect she had endured. Nevertheless, Mark remained steadfast. His soldier's patience became his greatest ally. He allowed Angela her space, giving her time to acclimate to her new surroundings. He maintained a gentle routine, ensuring she had her meals, her own personal space, and the reassurance that he was there, not as a threat, but as a protector. As the days turned into weeks, Angela gradually let her guard down. Mark's unwavering patience and absence of judgment created a safe space for her. She began responding to his kindness with small, hesitant gestures, a nod, a half-smile, and reaching out for the meals he prepared. These were significant victories in Mark's endeavor to earn her trust. Simultaneously, Mark was determined to understand Angela's abilities. He observed her manipulating small objects with her mind marveling at the strength and control required. Rather than fearing it, he recognized it as an integral part of Angela's identity. Something to be understood and respected. Mark took on the role of guiding her, helping her gain better control and harness her abilities. As a tool rather than allowing them to control her. As their bond grew stronger, Mark found himself assuming a unique role, that of a father. His relationship with Angela evolved from caregiver to father figure. Moments of understanding and acceptance paved the way. For a deeper connection that transcended traditional parent-child roles, Angela, in turn, 
began to see Mark not just as a protector but as a friend. A confidant she could trust. Laughter filled the one silent apartment. And she freely shared her thoughts, dreams, and fears. In Mark, she discovered a safe haven, a father who saw her for who she was. Rather than solely focusing on her abilities. Together, they became a testament to resilience. Challenging society's narrow perception of them. Mark, once seen as a helpless disabled man. Transformed into a devoted father. A symbol of strength and patience. Angela. Previously feared and ostracized for her abilities. Blossomed into a vibrant and joyful girl. Illuminating Mark's life. They proved that families were not solely defined by blood ties. But could be formed through shared battles, understanding. And most importantly, unconditional acceptance. In the weeks following Angela's arrival. Her abilities became more pronounced. Mark observed objects mysteriously moving around the apartment. And witnessed Angela's intense concentration as her brows furrowed. Objects would shift or rise seemingly by magic. While Mark had known about Angela's unique abilities. Seeing them firsthand was a profoundly different experience. One day. As Mark was performing a minor repair on a light fixture. He found himself precariously balanced on a ladder. With his prosthetics resting on a ladder rung. Angela watched with clenched fists. Her eyes filled with anticipation. Suddenly, the ladder wobbled. Causing Mark's grip to slip. And he began to tumble down. Time seemed to slow down. And amidst the gripping fear. He witnessed an unexpected scene unfold. With terror in her eyes. Angela lifted her hand. And to Mark's astonishment. The falling ladder halted in midair. Just inches from the ground. It was a startling sight. But what struck Mark even more was the intense focus on Angela's face. She was using her powers to control the ladder, breaking his fall. In that moment, Mark's fear transformed into deep respect. Accompanied by a surge of gratitude, he realized that Angela possessed an extraordinary ability to protect herself and those she cared for. This incident marked a significant turning point in their lives. Angela's abilities were no longer a whispered secret but a vivid reality. While it was initially shocking, Mark accepted it gracefully, allowing their bond to deepen even further. He grappled with this newfound knowledge, understanding that their journey together would be far from ordinary. Yet, he found comfort in the fact that Angela had the power to protect herself. They embraced this extraordinary path. Knowing that with each challenge they faced. Their connection would only grow stronger. Mark's world was thrown into a whirlwind and Angela's abilities were revealed. It plunged him into unfamiliar territory. Filled with uncertainties and unanswered questions. Initially. Fear consumed him as he grappled with understanding Angela's reality. Her power to manipulate the physical world with her thoughts. The days following the revelation were a blur of anxiety and confusion. With Mark often finding himself captivated by the paradox Angela presented. Angela. An innocent and curious little girl. Possessed an extraordinary gift that challenged the boundaries of normalcy. As time passed. Mark's fear gradually transformed into acceptance. He no longer saw Angela's powers as a threat. But rather as a unique and precious gift within a child he had grown to love. Determined. Mark chose to embrace Angela and her abilities wholeheartedly. He became her mentor. Guiding her in understanding and controlling her powers. Together. They engaged in exercises to help her focus and refine her skills. Mark's role expanded beyond that of a father. He became Angela's anchor. Her guide in a world that feared and misunderstood her. With Angela's growing control over her powers. Mark recognized a remarkable opportunity. Her abilities were not a curse but a blessing that could positively impact others. 
they could utilize her telekinesis to assist those in need. And make a meaningful difference in their community. It was an ambitious goal. But Mark wholeheartedly believed in Angela. And their ability to redefine their place in society. Gradually, Angela and Mark began to make a difference. They reached out to their community, offering their assistance wherever possible. Angela's powers became a force for good, transforming her from a feared outcast into a beacon of hope, symbolizing strength and resilience. Her journey was a testament to her courage, buoyed by Mark's unwavering support. Mark, once a solitary man, discovered joy and purpose in his role as Angela's father and mentor. His life was no longer defined by the absence of his legs. Instead, it was enriched by his efforts to nurture Angela and guide her in using her abilities for the greater good. Their journey together illuminated Mark's existence, turning his solitary life into one brimming with love, purpose, and the presence of an extraordinary little girl.